are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel. Lord, I give up, I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. Because his faithful love endures forever. First Chronicles sixteen thirty four. Thanksgiving. That's known as Black Friday. 
is a huge day for shopping and is the official kickoff of Christmas shopping season. Millions of people, grown-ups, race to the stores to shop for the hottest gifts for the season. Do you know what's the busiest day of the year for returns though? It's the day after Christmas. The day after Christmas, millions of people head to the store and return or exchange gifts that they don't really like or even like open it. Isn't that crazy? On Christmas Day, they open the present and they say, Thank you, I love it so much. And then the next day, they just take it back to the store and return it. That doesn't really sound like a gratitude or appreciating the gifts, huh? We all get gifts that we don't like or we don't use it. We get toys, we never open it. We get clothes that just doesn't fit or not trendy. Adults get appliances that they don't like. How many adults actually have gifts in the garage just sitting there like for five years? Saying thank you is a courtesy we give to anyone that gives us gifts. We say thank you for the action figure that we already have or shirts that we'll never wear. But do you know what really means to say thank you? Usually, enjoying the gifts is the best way to, to actually say thank you. God doesn't give ugly sweater or knock off games to us. All God's gifts are good, and they are all get given by His design. God wants us to be grateful for those gifts in prayers, but He also wants us to use them as well. When we give back, we show God that we truly, truly enjoy His gifts, and we love Him, and we're being very grateful. There's no better way to show God we love Him than to give generously. One of the greatest acts of generosity is in the Bible came from a man who known as a greedy and dishonest person. Zacharias was a little man, the song goes, right? But he had a fortune at home. Then one day he met Jesus. Jesus' love changed his heart forever. Zacharias did not just say thank you. He actually showed his appreciation with an incredible act of generosity. Let's watch the story. Stories of the Bible, Zacchaeus. This is Zacchaeus. Hey there. Who was a tax collector and very rich. Tax collectors were hated because many people thought they were liars and cheaters. Boo. <laughs> Zacchaeus lived in Jericho, and one day Jesus was passing through Jericho. What's going on? Jesus is here! Woohoo! Zacchaeus wanted to see who Jesus was. Hey, excuse me. Hey, watch where you're going. But he was too short to see above the crowd. Ah, oh, that's it. So he ran ahead to a place where he knew Jesus would come. He climbed to a sycamore tree so he could see Jesus. When Jesus came to that place, he looked up and saw Zacchaeus in the tree. Oh, hey there, friend. Who? Me? Yeah, you. He said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down. I must stay at your house today. Oh, all right. Zacchaeus came down quickly. He was pleased to have Jesus in his house. All the people saw this and began to complain. Ugh. Look at the kind of man Jesus stays with. Zacchaeus is a sinner. But Zacchaeus said to Jesus, I will give half my money to the poor. If I have cheated anyone, I will pay that person back four times more. Jesus said, Salvation has come to this house today. What? This man truly belongs to the family of Abraham. The son of man came to find lost people and save them. Zacharias was a tax collector one of the most hated professions at that time. Tax collectors worked for Rome and no one liked the Romans. They were often dishonest and would enrich themselves by taking more from the people they, they taxed than what they, the law required. It was shocking to see Jesus go into the home of Zacharias. But Jesus was just being Jesus, you know? He loves everyone. And he showed Zacharias that God loves him too. Zacharias was so moved by his 
he agreed to give back any and all the money he had even stolen from people. He didn't just say thank you with his mouth. He backed it up with his giving. God wants us to have the same spirit of gratitude and to give generously in thanks for all the things He has done for us. When we talk about giving, the first thing most people think about is money. The Bible says we need to give 10% of what we make to the church or to any Christian for any Christians. And that is a great habit to start as a kid. However, giving is not just only limited by money. Another way we can give is to give our talents to God. We touched little on this week one. When we heard God call Jeremiah to be a prophet, God has given each of us talents that we can use to share God's love and praise His name. Whether your talent is, lead, is leading, serving, working, singing, playing an instrument, acting, or whatever that is, that is a gift God wants you to use in a way that will lead other people to Jesus. The third way we can give to God is by giving our time. We can give time to the church to help get the buildings ready on Sunday, or like all the youth leaders help out in the worship and Sunday school. We can give time to help our friends or neighbors. We can give time to pray, getting on our knees to talk to God and ask Him to help those in need. There are countless things we can do to show God we are thankful, all by giving up a little time and effort. You know, Teacher Kenneth doesn't have any big gifts, but you know, I do love you guys, and I love you guys, and I want to do my best to actually help the next generation to know more about God. So every Sunday, I would like to come here to talk to you about God and lead the worships or teach you guys in Sunday school and have fun with you guys. This is how I like to serve God, by sharing His love with you guys. I found the joy of serving every Sunday after I go home. And just like in Proverbs it says, train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he's old, he will not depart from it. I really want to help you all to know more about Jesus. God has given us Jesus. There's nothing bigger gifts that God can give to anyone because He gives His only Son to us. He gives us this beautiful world, family, friends, and so much more. And He's giving us talent so He, we, he can include us in His work. How awful would it be if we fail to give back to the one who gives so many things to us? Don't let prayer just be the only way to say God, thanks to God. You can do more. Give your money, your time, and your gifts to the Lord, and let your actions say, I love you, God. Thank you for loving me first. Dear Lord, every good thing comes from you. Pray that we have a thankful heart and share all your blessings with others. Help us make an effort to give back to you by serving others and thanking you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys next week. And remember to count your blessings.